Hello and welcome to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video, we learned about setting up Gutenberg. And in this video, we are going to talk about how to register custom block category. The reason for why we are learning registering custom block category is because when, we are, when you are actually building a lot of blocks for, for the client or for yourself, it becomes really easy for us to uh, group them together in a specific category rather than having to add them into WordPress core categories, default categories. I mean, you can register the the blocks under the core categories as well, but but I strongly feel that you know if you are building custom ones, it's better to have them in a specific category unless you feel they belong somewhere else. Yeah. So let's start then. So the first thing I'm going to do is basically come onto our theme and go into the includes folder and let's keep the block related stuff into a separate file and let's name it as class blocks.php and then I'm just going to use copy paste I'm just going to copy paste the code from uh, another class over here so that I I have something to begin with and then I'm just going to start changing it so I can change it like blocks and then I can change this assets to blocks and the same goes over here at the yep, and blocks and then of course I have to uh, make sure that I get the instance of that so I'm gonna go to the Aquila theme and on top before the block patterns I'm just gonna do blocks get instance so this is gonna get the instance of that block okay awesome so it's been instantiated and I'm gonna get rid of all of this I don't need it I'm also going to get rid of these functions because we don't need all of that and to register the block category uh, we have a hook available in WordPress and that is called block categories block categories okay and then I can hook into my custom function in that so I'll name my custom function as add block categories oops okay now we are going to define this custom function public function and then add block categories and once we hook our custom function to this add block categories it actually gives us access to all the default categories basically okay so what we can do is we can first pluck out the slug of the category so we can get the category category slugs equals WP list pluck so there's a function we have available in WordPress and then I'm gonna plug the slug out of it so let's see what we get here okay I'm gonna go ahead and print it and let's see what we get refresh there you go you can see that I've got all of the categories I've got text media design widget and embed right so I have actually plucked the category if I would have just printed out category see what you get you actually get the array right you get the array but I need the slug out of it I don't need everything that's why I'm using the WP list plug so what this is doing is is plucking only the slugs and giving me in form of an array like so yeah awesome so if I stop this if I remove this and then I also want to comment out this for a moment notice that text media design widget embed and reusable are actually the block editor categories so if you check browse all you can see you have text you have media you have design you have widgets and you also have embeds yep so you've got all of those categories awesome what I really want to do is I want to add my own category so how do we do how do we do that what we'll do is we'll say return in array 
and then I'm going to create my own slug so I'll give the name of the slug as Aquila that's actually my theme name as well uh, and then we'll say category slugs true okay so what this means that if this slug already presents is present inside of this which means that this uh, category is already registered so I don't want to so I'm doing double check you know I, I'm, I'm ensuring that if if whether or not somebody else have already registered a category for blocks uh, you know from another plugin or something so I'm just ensuring I take care of that uh, I do that validation you know that if it already exists then I don't want to create it again right so if it does if it does exist then I'm just going to uh, you know return the categories because it, it is already there so I don't need to create it again but if it doesn't then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a function which is called array merge okay and I'm gonna merge into the categories my own categories right so what should be the shape of this so if you do the print of the category slugs again sorry the categories again that is the shape I want for my own category as well so take a look I want it in this format right so I want the slug first so I'm gonna get rid of it so I want the slug so what will be the slug so slug will be Aquila what else do I want I want the title right so I'm gonna say title and then I'm going to use the translation function because this is going to be for user readability Aquila blocks and then it's going to ask for text domain which is also happen which also happens to be which also happens to be Aquila right and then I'm going to need the icon so of course you can use all the dash icons that are available however I'm going to go with table row after icon which kind of looks like uh, you know a block with a plus icon yep you can choose whichever you want it's up to you all right that's all so that's all we have to do and see what happens what does it actually return so before even I return it let me store this in a variable okay uh, let's say result equals this and let's print it out to see what we get inside of it so take a look now it has actually added another one with the slug and aquila but the problem is it's not inside of an array so we actually have to wrap it inside of an array right so it's good that we verified because that was important now if we check there we go now it's perfect because i have added my own custom category inside of the uh, core default categories that were available awesome it's great which means all I have to do is just return it because I know that this is all good it's been verified return in array that's it now if you notice it has been registered but it's not going to show up yet why, now why would it not show up yet is because uh, I haven't registered any blocks uh, under that category so it's only going to show when you actually register a block inside that category so right now I'm not going to do anything uh, for this video. In the next video when we register a block under that category, the category will automatically sh start showing. Okay? Awesome. Great. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And do follow me on GitHub. And thanks to all the people who have followed me to support my work. And do subscribe to my channel. And please start my repository like all the other beautiful people have all right to support my work great awesome so I'm gonna see you in the next video and in the next video we're going to start building our first custom block and we're gonna build it in react if you're not too familiar with react it's completely fine react is nothing but it's JavaScript library if you know JavaScript you're familiar with it you will be able to follow along so let's go through that awesome journey together all right see you in the next video take care bye bye